Welcome to Black and Gold Today, brought to you by Ray Brandt Infinity. I'm Rachel Whitaker with Saints columnist Larry Holder, and we begin with the baby news of the day. Drew Brees, now a proud papa to a seven pound, seven ounce baby girl. Still deciding on a name, but he reports mother and daughter are happy and healthy. Very nice to hear. Well, Larry, on the field now, the Saints roster is now down to 75, and Victor Butler, a linebacker, one of the guys gone, but he just never materialized here in New Orleans. Right. I mean, his role was going to be a starter. They, yeah. they signed him in 2013. He was on his way, tears his ACL in the final OTAs last year, then comes back. They still see him as a possible starter battling with Paris Harrelson, but Sean Payton finally revealed today he sustained an ankle injury. He remotely got back on the practice field yesterday, but it was too little too late for Victor Butler. They have too many linebackers, and you just don't know what you have in him. So he is definitely the most notable cut as the Saints get back down to 75. And uh, look, do I think he can get on somewhere else? I think so, but uh, it's really almost too little too late for a, a guy who really probably would have been a starter for two years. So definitely uh, uh, the biggest name out of these cuts. And here's what Sean Payton had to say about Butler's departure. The challenge was was just you know uh, the reps and not having the, the reps needed to evaluate. Um, we had a long talk yesterday, and look, he's frustrated, I'm sure, just because the early injury and then the setback this year in training camp after the rehab. Um, you know, it's, it's always difficult, and especially when a player doesn't really have a chance to put his best foot forward. And Larry, of the other guys who were cut today, anybody else uh, really stick out to you, a surprise maybe? It's not really a big name, but Kevin Reddick uh, made the team last year as an undrafted rookie, was on the team the entire 2013 season, and he was a core special teams guy. Now, for me, I think you, you're cutting him uh, even this early. I think it opens up a roster spot, and I'm going to throw out a name, undrafted guy, and it, I don't think many undrafted players are going to make this 53-man roster, but uh, Kasim Edabal linebacker he's really someone who plays all those special teams and we actually saw him get a, a handful of reps with the first team today and he's more of an outside linebacker type might be someone who they uh, look at some point to fill say a Victor Butler role I'm not gonna say he's starting but he's someone who uh, kind of off the radar I know the Saints have liked him throughout this process but without Reddick and without Butler it's gonna open up a linebacker spot to me Edabale might be that guy who somehow snatched is up uh, a roster spot that maybe we didn't think would be available at the start of camp. Maybe a name Saints fans should get to know. Well, Larry, thanks very much. You got it, Rachel. Thanks. <laughs> and up next, our weekly Saints trivia question. Affordable luxury is here at the Ray Brandt Infinity Pre-Owned Center. Over 100 of the world's finest luxury cars and trucks are on sale. Infinity, Acura, BMW, Mercedes-Benz, Lexus, Porsche, Land Rover, Jaguar, and more. All within reach. And special low luxury financing rates makes it easy to buy. Affordable luxury is here at Ray Brandt Infinity of Metairie Pre-Owned Center. 3700 North Causeway Boulevard, Metairie. Welcome back. Well, this week's Saints trivia question looks at the only time the Saints have ever beaten the Baltimore Ravens. Check it out. In the Saints' lone victory ever against Baltimore in 2002, what former Saint started at quarterback for the Ravens and passed for 316 yards, two touchdowns, and two interceptions? Well, Think it over and email your answers to rwhitaker at nola.com for a chance to win that ever-popular Saints prize. That's all for now from Saints Camp. Thanks for watching.